Never. Maybe it's just I don't remember it. Oh god, that should have killed me. Oh god. Wow, that was close. That was real close. This music though is always pretty cool though. I always I used to like this music a lot. Damn. Damn, it's, it's, it's just something about it. It sounds really fucking awesome. Da, da, da. Sounds like adventuristic 80s music or something. A lot of music sounds like 80s music anyway, so. Except for one of the things I like about the classic Mega Man X games. And I guess it kind of brought that back, like that kind of like that early 90s, 80s music feel to like the Mega Man X8, because I have the soundtrack to that, even though I don't have the game. I like to download a lot of soundtracks from YouTube and shit and just like listen to them. I'll, I'll fucking be at work. Okay, at my new job, we're actually allowed to, like, listen to music. And we, we can, like, bring in, like, our iPhones and shit and, like, have, like, our music playing and sitting next to us as we're working. So we don't have to just sit there and listen to, like, you know, fucking grocery store music all day. Which is really horrifying. But we can, like, listen to our, listen to our own music. You know, people, sometimes people bring in, like, rap, hip-hop, sometimes. Like, and, and, like, one kid, like, he has, like, this fucking gigantic fucking thing. Not that kind of thing, not that kind of... Oh my god. Ah, oh, Really? He has like a, gi a, gi a, gi a uh, gigantic stereo system and like he'll bring in like, you know, his own music. Usually it's just like the same music all the time, like you know, hear like Aerosmith's Dream On like fucking... It, it, you hear that like fucking ten times a day or something, or it's just, it's just stupid. Sometimes we play like, good music though, like good like, you know... I don't know. Really good. It's not even it's not that the music he plays is not really good. It's just the fact that he plays the same music all the time. It's like, dude, there's like 10 million songs out there. Play something else for a fucking change. As long as they play some good shit, like, you know, I don't know, class, like 2000, early 2000s stuff, 90s stuff. Different versions of different 80s songs. And, you know, I'll be sitting there with my video game music playing on my fucking iPhone. Yeah, I'll use it. Never mind. We're not gonna use it. We are not gonna use it. You know, I'll be playing like Mega Man X music, Mega Man Zero. Like right now, I have Mega Man Zero, one and two loaded on, plus remastered songs. Mega Man, Mega Man Hunter X, Fortnite Mega Man X8, X7, X6. I think X5 is on there too. Shit ton of fucking Mega Man songs. Bunch of other fucking songs too, like. I don't know, this is fucking cool, like, if you're working, like, I, I have, like, Metal Gear Solid soundtrack, I had, like, Metal Gear Solid 2 on for a while, and, like, you know, we're, I, like, I work kind of, like, in a factory place now, instead of at the grocery store where people used to work at, I still work there, but not as much, but yeah, I'll be playing, like, uh, Metal Gear Solid music, and a lot of the Metal Gear Solid music takes, like, like, a lot, of, a lot of the MGS music, like, the soundtrack takes place, like, like in a factory setting, so the fact that it's playing Metal Gear Solid music in a factory area is so fucking funny. Because I feel like any t like any second, Solid Snake's gonna come up in there and and fucking murder us all from behind, murder us in the face. But yeah, and in any case, we beat all the Mavericks, and a cutscene's gonna happen. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. The Hummins. But Zero, are humans, are, are, the, are the Mavics really the problem? Or are the humans the real problem? Questions that, should, that will be answered in Mega Man Zero. And yes, this is what happens to the Mega Man X symbol that was on the right, bottom right corner. It changes to... The Sigma Maverick symbol. And now you, all you see is a face. The face of evil. The face of Sigma. 
the leader of the Mavericks. And before that, before that happens, you're gonna go and fucking get all the powers. Get all the motherfucking powers. And if possible, oh yeah, the bees do appear in this level. That's right. Okay, so those bee, those bee things that were in the first level do appear in this level. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I, did, I didn't use it. Uh, I didn't use it. Yeah. That was I just talking about. Oh yeah, work. Um, music. Yeah, Mega Man X. Yeah, Mega Man Zero has some pretty good music too. I like, I like the tracks of Mega Man Zero One and Two. Tracks of Mega Man Three are pretty decent as well. Mega Man Four soundtrack so far, I'm not really all that impressed by. Especially since it took away a lot of like staple tracks. Like, um, usually Mega Man Zero games, like you know, you have to be a level in that game. You have like a results screen. And it plays like this music. It goes like, and they don't have that. Like you know, every like it's it first put Mega Man Zero One, and then they like kind of like change a little Mega Man Zero Two, and then like had like a little remix version, which added like a, and then it was Mega Man Zero. I'm like, oh, I wonder what they're gonna do for Mega Man Zero Four. They don't do anything at all. They did nothing. I'm just like, really? There's like literally nothing there. It's just no music. I don't know if I have a glitch version of Mega Man Zero Collection or not, but I don't think so. And I think it just, they just literally just did not care. They, they, they wanted to exemplify or, or, you know, really just put it to you that this is the last fucking Mega Man Zero game. Mega Man Zero Four, so he just had like no music playing. It's just like nothing. It's just the sounds of the score being calculated. That's it. That's all you hear. And it's just like, whoa. Oh, um, music doesn't really impress me that much. In Mega Man Zero Four. I mean, it probably will later, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just like, I just like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just like, I only beat like four people. Not including the, um, craft. Which is really fucking hard, by the way. That was a really hard battle. Like, it took me, like, so many days. Oh, not... Well, yeah, it did. Like, I spent, like, my break time and my lunch time at work and time at home trying to beat the boss. And I just couldn't do it. And eventually I figured, oh, wait a minute. I had my separate L for the, um, the nurse system set to level 2. Which means I have four extra things of health. I just remember I have to dash jump. I should probably use that, which gives me like four extra, but four extra vitality. But I end up losing out on the um, random health drops, or random health scatter. Which is really stupid because the cyber health system in that game is like really weird. Like it works really differently than the other games. Like you have like different levels for like nurse, hacker, and animal, and like. Like, just, like, level 1 is, like, sc level 1 for nurses, like, it scatters health randomly, which is really useful, especially, like, when if you're fighting a boss and there's, like, no health or no sub-tanks available. You can just, it just, it'll just randomly scatter health and be like, oh, hey, cool, there's a health, I, can, I, won't, I won't die as fast. But if you go straight to level 2, if you go straight to level 2, um, for a nurse, you skip out on the random health scattering and instead get, like, a, um, um, you get, um, extra four vitality, which is not all that useful compared to getting random health drops. So I took that off, put on, put put it back to one, and then put one of the, like animal or hacker up to like up a level, and then boom, bada bing, bada boom, got I was able to beat craft. That was that was pretty awesome. 
I I won't lie. That was that was that was pretty fucking badass. That was that was that that that, that was that that it was that it was. <laughs> Sorry, I just squeezed a fart out. Wait, what? Yeah. Flameth. The flameth mammoth. Maybe we can try a ceiling thing now. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Woo! Oh, that's fucking awesome. I didn't know we could do that. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Dude! That's fucking awesome! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that? You're supposed to be a um uh It's supposed to be a um uh, um um uh, um uh Dr. Leg capsule there, what the fuck? There's nothing there. And this is fucking happening. That's really disturbing. That's really fucking disturbing. What the hell? Oh, it's me. It's me, but really fucked up palette. It's like me with the, um, uh... It's Mega Man with... Mega Man X with the... What? What is that supposed to be? It's supposed to be this. There's some blue in there. I guess it's a combination of this. Or maybe this and this. That's really fucking weird. Yep, he's doing the same actions as me. That's really creepy. That's like creepy. That's like Creepy Man X. Okay, let's go back. Wow. I never knew you could do that. So I looked up the glitches last night for uh, Mega Man X because I was looking up the glitch that kept happening with the with the um, level skipping thing. Come on, get get up there! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Did I already read the text for this? Oh no, I didn't. Uh... This capsule contains a part. Which will increase the big capabilities of your X Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Yay! Fire all types of weapons and shit. They should have had that. They should have let him say that. They should. They should have let him say, "Use it to fire all types of weapons and shit." That would have been so much more. You know, that would have been so much more badass. But they didn't do that. That's. That was a missed opportunity on Capcom's part. But you know what? They are so used to having missed opportunities, so it's no surprise, really. I mean, you know, I went to PAX the other day. You know, this is a little small convention. It's nothing huge. I mean, you know, not a lot of people go to or anything. You know, it's not really that big. It's not as big as, like, you know, Anime Boston or Kineticon. Kineticon's so much bigger than PAX East. Well, yeah, I went there. I went to the Capcom booth, and I was disappointed because you know I looked at the um, Umbrella Chronicles, Umbrella Corpse. Oh, Umbrella Chronicles is fucking awesome. I love that game. Fuck anyone who hates that game. You can go fucking die in a ditch. That game's awesome. That's like one of the, okay, it's not one of the best Resident Evil games, but it's a it's a very it's a it's a good representation. It's a good recent representation of Resident Evil series. You know, fuck Operation Raccoon City. And all that other fucking Resident Evil 6 and all that other fucking nonsense. All that fucking Call of Duty shit. I can go die in a ditch. But yeah. Umbrella Corp was there. And I didn't even know it existed until like I saw that PAX. And I was just like, what the hell is this shit? What the fuck is this? And I was disappointed. You know. And it's like it's it's like it's like a redhead stepchild or something, you know, you just wanna fucking smack it. I'm just like, what the hell is this? And I'm just like, what? Why? Why? It's basically like fucking. It's it's basically Call of Duty. It's literally Call of Duty. Operation Cat Raccoon City was like Call of Duty and shit. It was like, you know, 
It was like out. It was like Resident Evil Outbreak and Call of Duty put together, which I don't like. I like I like Resident Evil Outbreak, but I hate Call of Duty. Call of Duty can go die to ditch. And the fact that Capcom's even attempting to cater to these fucking Call of Duty fuck nuts is just despicable. You know, Call of Duty fans can just go fucking go fuck themselves for all I care. But Capcom caters to them. Like the fucking dumbasses they are. Yeah, Umbrella Corpse, you know, I recorded some footage, actually. And I pretty much said I wasn't going to play the game. But then I said, you know what, I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it an actual try. I'm going to give it an actual fucking try and see how terrible this game really is by playing it myself. And I played it, and it was fucking terrible. I mean, not just in terms of Resident Evil game, but just a video game in general. It was fucking terrible. Controls are wonky. It feels really fucking ugh. It feels awful. It doesn't play like the way it sh it, 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 it's a really terrible third-person shooter. Like, you know, Gears of War plays awesomely. This game does not play like Gears of War. If you're going to try to play like Gears of War, at least play, you know, as good or just as good. Don't fucking play like a clunky piece of fucking, you know, crappy PlayStation 2 shitty Japanese game piece of shit, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Those, those really sh... Those really shitty PS2, Japanese PS2 games that, like, you know, are really crappy, have, like, really weird gra- have really shitty graphics. But, you know, you only get it because, like, you know, it's a Japanese game or something, or it's based on an anime. Like, one of those kind of games from back in the day. I mean, it doesn't play exactly like that, but it, it comes close to it. And the team we faced off against was really shitty. It was, like, me and three or two other people get versus three people. And the team we faced was really shitty. Because I saw people... Because we waited in line, we waited in line for like at least 20 minutes. And then, <laughs> we actually got to play. We played for like 7 or 8 minutes. Because the other team was so bad. Like, we we just rushed them, shot them, and they all died. We, we didn't die, I didn't die once, which is weird, because I usually fucking suck at, uh, at, um... I usually fucking suck at first-person shooters, but I didn't die once. And I actually killed some people. And we beat their team, and I don't think anybody on our team even died. They were just terrible. They were fucking god awful. And what the fuck was that? Some random hobo outside yelling. Fuck hobos. Anyway, yeah. Terrible, 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 terrible. Terrible. So I'm brother corpse. Um, I'm pretty much giving that to fucking. Like, serious, I'm giving that the fucking, um, disownment. Or I'm giving that, like, the, the, uh, I'm giving that the, uh, the, um, sh shitty, shitty attempt at Capcom trying to cater to the Call of Duty crowd treatment. And then, of course, they have fucking Monster Hunter. Every single fucking year they have another Monster Hunter game. Are you ever, like, actually stop making that game? Like, seriously. Stop making Monster Hunter fucking Capcom. You you, you 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 treat the game as if it's, if it's, if it's like Fancy Star Online. Except you don't make a fucking Fancy Star Online game every single fucking year. Okay, so that means okay. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Monster Hunter. Oh, I'm gonna try and get all this shit and like you know get my character to a high level and play as all the classes. If the game even has any classes, I don't know. I don't ever play Monster Hunter and get all this other fucking shit in the game. And you know it's like. Oh, now I'm gonna fucking play, you know, fucking, ugh, it's nauseating. It's nauseating, that's what it is. And then they make another monster at the game, and it's like, oh, I have to spend another fucking, um, this amount of money on this game, and spend all these hours on this game, because it won't stop making it. Like, hell, I know they did the same thing with Mega Man back in the day, but at least, you know, there was some difference, you know, you, there was some difference between games, it wasn't just like the same fucking... And honestly, the monster to me is like it looks like one of those fucking like it's like Call of Duty of fucking Capcom, pretty much. You know, same fucking game, just fucking nothing really that much different. Same basic setting. You run around fucking hunting monsters, hunting dinosaurs, getting different equipment, playing online occasionally. Really, just fucking ugh. But, you know, at the very least, Capcom did not have $10 beef jerky that was smaller than normal beef jerky you find at the fucking 
convenience store. That was ridiculous. I saw it last year. And I was like, what the hell is this shit? $10 beef jerky? You guys are fucking insane. For a second, I thought I was stuck there forever. That would be scary. Oh, yeah, the waters. Oh, yeah, this is one of the other levels that changes. When you beat Launch Octopus's stage, there's now water here. So now I can actually get across. Normally, you would not be able to get across. But because there's water here, I can dash across. Let me... Tr and grab this. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. So now I have all the powers. All the powers. Every single one. Except for the sub tanks. I don't have the sub tanks yet. I don't have the, sing the one sub tank and all the heart tanks. This one's rather easy to grab too as well. So I'll go, I'll go grab this one. I'm not going to shoot this guy because I want the tank thing to happen. Actually, yeah, that works. So yeah, pretty much Pax East was it was pretty cool. I mean, I only went for a day because I was it was like last minute. It was literally last minute. Like I had no plans on going because I wasn't able to get a I was I wasn't able to secure a free day pass from last year because they started selling like November of last year or something. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just not gonna go this year. Fuck it, I'm not gonna spend 150 dollars. On eBay for one day pass, but then I thought, you know what? Let me let me go. I want I I I really want to go now. You know, I just I don't. Uh, PAX was my, my first convention, and I've always had fun going there. Atmosphere is atmosphere is definitely better than a lot of other conventions. Like you know, I just love going there, seeing the new. Even if I don't, even if, even if I don't get to actually play the games, just seeing the games in action and seeing all like the setups. Shit that everyone has, all the booths, and seeing all the cosplays, of course, and seeing like um, people playing Dance Central. You know, it's always fun to do. It's 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 a fun part of the con. So yeah, I definitely wanted to go this year. So I just went, I I pretty much won it. I, I I wanged the fuck out of it. I wanged the fuck out of it like Jimmy Wang Yang on Monday night on Friday night SmackDown. <laughs> I have to say Monday Night Raw. I don't think he's around. I don't think he's around Monday Night Raw. So on Friday night SmackDown, I remember that much. Hey, many other country bunkin. I don't remember his name. The other country bunkin. And you know, I went there with the intention of buying a pass off of a scalper, which I don't understand why they call it scalper. If you really, if it was called a scal, if if they're really a scalper, they would be selling you whatever goods they're trying to sell at a cheaper price than what you'd normally be able to get it for. Cause you know you think about scalping, it, it's called it's like reducing. You know what I mean? When like you know Indian scalpers when they scalp fucking motherfucking uh, people's heads off and shit. You know they take off their hair, so you know it's, it's like take it away. I don't know. I I don't know. And that's how you get that really easy. <laughs> but yeah, I was able to get off a scalp. I had to wait like about two an hour and a half to two hours. Me and some other guy, me and some other random guy were waiting, and then, you know, we we're like kind of like teaming up, trying to like you know help each other out, get, try to get like uh, try to help each other out, securing a passes and shit, and like you know, informing each other of what's going on and shit like that. And then eventually, like one of his friends appeared, and then he's just like, "Oh shoot, dude, I got a pass. I'll give it to you fifty dollars." And he's like, "Okay, no! Oh my god, no! Fuck you!" Oh! I'm gonna stop it here. I'll be back. <laughs>